Hello, this is Joshua Milligan, Senior Data Consultant at Technion Data Solutions. Today we're going to take a look at the data preparation feature that's new in Tableau 9.0, which is currently in beta but soon to be released. And what I've got here is an Excel file, so this is similar to things that you've seen before. Uh, it's kind of nice, actually. It's got a title, it's got some notes and some merged cells, uh, some headers. You'll notice uh, we've got world population here, we've got a column for each year. Uh, giving us the population, so it's kind of easy to read in Excel. But if I take this into Tableau, at least in previous versions, I would have a little bit of difficulty. But as we're going to see, Tableau 9.0 actually has simplified things quite a bit. So I'm going to connect to that file here. We'll connect to an Excel file, find it, and open it up. And you'll see that initially, uh, Tableau it can't find the header, so it's giving us some defaults here. Uh, it's taking that title and note, and it's including that as part of the data. But I'm going to turn on the Tableau Data Interpreter, and when I do that, now Tableau gets rid of all of those excess headers. It figures out merged cells and, and uh, cleans up the data. If I want to review the results, I can click here and see how it, uh, how it came up with, with the things it did. Uh, and so now I've got a nice data set. I could work with this in Tableau. Uh, but there are a few other things I want to do to uh, prepare this data. First of all, I see that uh, country name and code are together in one column. Well, I want to split that out. So I'll just do that right here with this menu. And you'll notice Tableau was able to figure out how to split that into two different fields. Now I no longer need that first field, so we'll uh, hide that one and I can rename the fields that I have here. So the first one I've got is just the country and the second one is the country code. Uh, I'm going to also hide the indicator fields. I don't think I'll need those for my analysis. So we'll hide those. And now I have all of these year columns and, and it's storing the population by year but it's doing it in columns. So that gives us what we call wide data. I could work with that in Tableau, but it's not going to be as easy and as intuitive to work with as it would be if it was what we call tall data. So if instead of all of these different columns, I had just two columns, one that, that gave me the year and one that gave me the population, that would be a lot easier to work with. And so here in Tableau, what I'll do is I'll just select all of the columns. You'll see I have a lot of columns, very wide data. And now, after selecting them, I'll say pivot, and Tableau will take that wide data and pivot it into tall data. And now I have a column for the names, which I'm going to rename to year because I know that that is what I'm going to want to use as my year dimension. And pivot field values, I'll rename that to population. That will be a nice measure. And now I've got a really clean data set to work with. All the preparation done in Tableau. I go to sheet one and now I'm ready to go.